Hi Aries, welcome to your general love reading for mid-January 2022. This reading is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs in Aries. And because it's general, it's not going to be everybody's situation. That's perfectly okay. But if you'd like to get a personal reading, all that information is in the description box. Also keep in mind that the roles can be reversed because this reading is general. All right, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for mid-January. What is going on? All right, for the situation, we have the King of Wands crossed by the Eight of Wands. Okay, so there's somebody here who knows exactly what it is that they want. They really want to go after it, but they're having a hard time actually doing it. Um, it could be that communication is blocked at the moment, or um, it's just, it's feeling like a challenge to either communicate or to take, to take action, even though there's a lot of, there's a lot of passion here, there's a lot of desire, there's a lot of, I feel like whoever this is, whether it is you or the other person, um, even the capability is there. It's just really a matter of actually taking that action. Let's see, for the recent past, we have the world. Okay, so there has been a cycle that's been completed here. So we'll see, we'll see when we clarify, it looks interesting. For your energy, we have the Seven of Cups and the Queen of Swords. Okay, so you're feeling a little bit confused here, maybe you're being presented with certain options, but I feel like because you are confused or because you might not know exactly what is going on, maybe you are even aware of this, like aware of the fact that that you're just not really sure of what is happening in this situation. It's like you know that. It's not like, I, I'm not getting that you have a distorted view of the situation. You're just very aware that things are complicated right now. And because of that, I feel like you are keeping a little bit of your, a little bit of distance from this person. Let's see for them. The Emperor and the Wheel of Fortune. All right, so some of you might be dealing with another with another Aries, possibly. Um, I do feel like we have quite a bit of fire showing up. So it could be any fire sign, doesn't have to be. This person is really trying to take control over their life and make a big shift. I actually feel like not only they're trying, it's like they're doing it. They're doing it. So I don't know what cycle it is that has been completed um, recently, but something's definitely done. And because of that, or something has been accomplished, and because of that, there's a huge shift that is happening here. I feel like it's mostly on their end. Let's see, for the near future, we have the star. Okay, so that's also Aquarius showing up. Um, that's a lot of hope. That's um, a lot of divine guidance, wish fulfillment. That's beautiful. Some healing. It's all of that coming up. And a message for you from Spirit here, we have the King of Cups. Love. Love. Somebody has a lot of emotions here, and I feel like it's mutual. So let's actually clarify. Get more details here. All right, so let's see that King of Wands with the Eight of Wands. All right, we have the Nine of Pentacles, the Four of Pentacles, and the Emperor. What is going on here? Because it definitely feels like somebody has really worked on their own self-worth. Somebody is feeling very independent, really, really good about themselves. Um, again, like knowing exactly what it is that they want. But I feel like what's holding them back, it could be some stubbornness here. And we have the Emperor showing up twice. We have the Emperor in their energy. So I'm just, I feel like this is actually them. Um, again, very strong fire. It, 
it's almost like um, this person, they're either stubbornly trying to hold on to their independence or, and, and really feeling like they want to have control over that. So it could even be like some kind of an insecurity of losing that. And for others, it's that it could even be that that's what has been completed, that they're, they may have completed some kind of a cycle that was keeping them attached to something. And so now they find themselves being independent, but there's, it's like, almost like because this might be fresh, it's like kind of still holding on to that, even though the cycle is complete. Either way, there's some stubbornness that is showing up here, which is what is actually blocking this communication or, or action towards what they want, but I feel like it's really just a matter of time. Let me see this world card for the recent past. The Nine of Swords, Justice, and the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, yeah, so whatever this completion was, it was something that was a huge, huge decision here. Um, possibly it was either financial or maybe even like something really big though. It could even be concerning a career. It could be concerning just their um, material world. And for others, it could even be something um, as big as divorce, for example. Whatever it is, it's a huge, huge decision that has been made already, all right? This is the recent past. Um, and it caused a lot of stress, a lot of stress. And I feel like actually this person might still be in this kind of an energy because we do have the wheel of fortune showing up here which is telling me that they're still in the process of adjusting to to the change to the shifts that have taken place so major major cycle com completed here it might even be concerning a legal issue but i feel like there's still kind of um there's this part of them that is having a little bit of a difficult time letting go of this completely emotionally, right? That's why we have the Four of Pentacles. It's done though, whatever that is. All right, so let's see what's going on with you here. Let's see the Seven of Cups. All right, we have the Eight of Swords and Judgment. I forgot to mention Libra energy is also showing up here. Yeah, so again, I feel like it's the same message coming through. It's like with judgment being here, it's like you are aware of the fact that you don't know what's going on. And I feel like you just really don't want to keep yourself trapped in this because I feel like this, this situation has actually... Um, kept you feeling stuck in some way, possibly stuck to this person, feeling like there's no way out. Um, I feel like you just really don't know what it is that's going on here. And because of that, again, it's like you're holding this distance or you're just trying to, I would even say, like, um, renew your life, basically. Let's see the Queen of Swords, which is also in your energy. All right, and we have the Five of Wands. Hmm. Okay, so even though you you're having this clarity <laughs> about um, the confusion, right? Clarity about not really knowing what is going on or what is coming up or what this person is actually you know feeling or thinking or doing um it's still conflicting you a little bit it's still creating a little bit of tension maybe within your own self because you wouldn't have wanted things to be so distant or so cold between the two of you so i do see a little bit of of that still but but that's okay i feel like you are gaining more and more clarity over yourself and that you're really trying to move forward just wanting truth wanting truth and if you can't get that here in this connection 
well, you know, you're, like I said, I feel like you're trying to, like, renew your life, renew yourself, um, almost like starting over. And I do feel like you are, you are doing that. And it's okay to have a little bit of conflicting energies because it could be that your emotions are a little bit contradictory to what you feel like you need to do. And again, that's okay. So let's see for them. Let's see the Semper. <laughs> the Wheel of Fortune again. I'm telling you, this person is making huge changes right now. Again, it just feels more so though that they are trying to adjust to a particular um, change to a particular cycle that is closing out. I actually feel like it already has closed out, but it could be that there's still some like final tweaks that are being made, some final adjustments. But definitely huge, huge changes here. Let's see the Wheel of Fortune. They're managing, they're managing. It's just that sometimes these things might take a little bit of time. Yeah, okay, so clarifying the Wheel of Fortune, look at this. We have the Sun and the Empress. Okay, so, so far, and actually not even so far because this is all the cards I'm actually gonna pull for this person. Every single card that I have pulled for this other person is Major Arcana. Like, what are the chances of that? All right, the Sun and the Empress, the Empress now clarifying the Wheel of Fortune. So whatever this shift is, that they are adjusting to and just kind of trying to work around and work with, first of all, it involves you. Um, in some way, maybe it's indirectly. And secondly, with the sun being here, this is also um, Leo showing up, this is all about happiness. This shift is actually moving them towards their ultimate fulfillment, happiness, love. So this is like, a very, very positive reading, actually. All right, so let's see the star. Like, I, I feel like I don't even need to clarify the rest of them because everything is just, it's so positive. Yeah, you might be feeling a little bit confused or a little bit stuck in your head about what's going on or you just don't want to be stuck anymore, um, you know, keeping your distance and all that, but it just feels like everything is actually moving along so well. All right, so clarifying the star, we have the hermit. And like, seriously, the amount of major arcana in this reading is ridiculous. Um, okay, so Virgo energy now also showing up. There's a lot of healing here that is happening. And it this might happen um, while the two of you are actually not 100% together, okay, because it's the hermit. So I do still sense that there's going to be a little bit of distance between the two of you, but it's like, the healing though that is happening, it's happening at a very, very deep level here. All right, it's going to be like um, a healing to like the core of your being, of your soul. And I feel like this is actually for, for the both of you, this is mutual here. So yeah, I don't see this particular connection like happening just yet, but it's like, it's like so moving in that direction. So let's see the King of Cups for the final message for you. And the Four of Wands, like, are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> this... I don't know, you know, um, it, this is like so positive that I almost don't even know what to tell you because this is just moving towards love. Um, the Four of Wands, this is all about stability, commitment. It could even be marriage, all right? And with the King of Cups, that is like emotion, emotional stability as well and just love coming in. So, and to be honest, I do feel like it is with this person um, that is showing up here for you. I mean, because some of you, you know, you might feel like you're just completely done. That's fine. Maybe it's not your reading or maybe this is talking about somebody else. Maybe, you know, the cycle is complete concerning um, a previous person you were dealing with. What I'm seeing here, though, is there is somebody who's making a huge, huge shift and there is love that is coming in for you. It's all a matter of the healing that is happening. So keep focusing on that. Know that it's okay. Um, to be alone for a little while because that is what is helping you to heal and to get on your right path as well as whoever this other person is.
All right, Aries. So let's see if this did resonate. Let's get the final oracle message for you. All right, and we have the full moon in Sagittarius. Look at the bigger picture. So yeah, because I, you are confused right now. You don't know what's going on. So that's the message for you. Look at the bigger picture because there's definitely more that's going on than what you can see right now. But also what's important is that is understanding that it's okay. You don't have to know exactly what is going on. Trusting in the universe is really all you need right now. So that was it, Aries. Um, thank you so, so much for watching and much love.